to my channel. I am the introvert who needs a little socialization. Can we talk? Can we talk about it? And let me add, everything I say is alleged, my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Child, y'all ready for this? Okay. Listen, in doing this video about old Destiny, it was tricky because Destiny be all over the place and very inconsistent with her words. And you just want to set out to prove that this chick is lying. Here's the thing. I'm not sure if Destiny realizes. Well, maybe she do. And just don't care. But you do know these things can be seen, right? You do know that this stuff can be seen, right? First, I just want to say to Destiny, you know, fire your therapist and your life coach and start all over. Because the pro bono work is not doing any justice for you, okay? You have been talking about it being in therapy and being healed for about two years now. And you still have no tools on how to deal with conflict. You show up like you're still dealing with trauma. At least the conflict we see on TV. You want examples? When Mel say you're posting her children and you said... You took it down because people got on you? That's crazy to me. Because as a mother, you should have understood. But it's just appeared that you wanted to uphold Martell and jab at Melody. And not understand the heart of a mother. Therapy or life coaching hasn't helped you put that together. Because for me, that's simple. Let's talk about Melody saying F Destiny. The night before Destiny came on the trip. Although it was a conversation the night before, it was put out there. Okay, so let's discuss. Melanie gives Destiny plenty of examples as to why she felt the way she felt. And in my opinion, to me, where Mel was coming for, it was more that Destiny posted her children with the paramour. That really was the straw that broke the camel's back, in my opinion. And in that moment, we did not hear any apology from Destiny about just posting the children. I mean, on GP. Instead, Destiny decides to dig her heels in deep and said again, defending Martell, that that's the mother of his children. I have plenty of videos of her with your children. Okay, which just said to the audience and to me that you posted those videos in, in out of spite. The fact that you could not put yourself in that situation and understand where Melody was coming from. Martell be having a stronghold on these beings. The person that would say, I don't play about my son. No empathy. Another example of no tools being used to address conflict. It's like when you're called to the table, it's a fight instead of a conversation. It's like you don't know how to have a conversation without it escalating or you standing up. Learning how to use your words and controlling your emotions is your most powerful tool. That obviously your therapists and life coaches that you got on speed dial. ain't giving you. The fact that you took no accountability in that moment, just that moment, it just shows that your therapy and life coaching ain't working. It's always somebody else's fault and you leave out the parts that you play let's talk about melody giving you examples of why she said f you and, and side note that statement would not have bothered me because i'm sure okay if i had not talked to somebody in almost two years and the friendship fell out i'm sure i have said f that person a few times okay but this is a show let's discuss with the examples that Melody gave you, which was all on TV, you said you did not know she felt that way. And I could pretty much remember Melody addressing every last issue on TV. You do know that this stuff can be seen, right? For me, the way you handled that again, no tools. Stormy said it best. Melody had an opportunity to tell you what hurt her, but you and your passion but for you as you and stormy like to say and your passion for me it's more like unresolved anger issues but let's move on but because you escalated the moment in your state of passion quote unquote people no longer want to talk like you took it to the next level and i'm giving this as an example because i feel like this could have been handled Better. And you could have had a better conversation instead of having that moment of craziness after two years 
of not being friends with somebody, which just let us know. And that a you better got conversation hurt. could have been had where you could have expressed how you felt or expressed your hurt. But no, Destiny got to perform for the TV. The jumping up is some BS. Okay. That's so immature. That just tells me you haven't learned how to handle conflict. Another example is telling Mel she did not have to call you a liar and dragging her name. And here is where the accountability comes in, okay? Because you went on several interviews and on these interviews telling people that Mel was not a good friend. Mel was manipulative before Mel even said anything you was on a world tour letting everybody know how bad of a friend melody was but you ain't take no accountability for that you ever heard the saying what you put out there you get back you reap what you sow garbage in garbage out that's the laws of attraction and you ain't learned that yet see tools tools that that obviously your therapist and your life coaches ain't giving you and besides that you do know that these interviews can be seen right you do know that this stuff can be seen, right? Time stamped and dated. In my opinion, Destiny missed the friendship with Melody and she can't get that back. The fact that Destiny, of all people, know what Martell was doing to Melody and probably knows more than the public and she can't seem to understand why Melody cut her off is crazy to the me. The fact that Destiny couldn't relate to Melody as a homegirl and chose Martell in the friendship it speaks volume just to that example of her being on the phone melody spilling her her heart out to her but she chose to click over and talk to martel wow that would hurt me too as a homegirl and i'll be looking at you sideways too. and destiny's shouting it only happened one time one time is too many and when you clicked over what did you say because i could imagine that look that you gave you know that look you had in vegas i could imagine that destiny mm -hmm. talks about they gave someone else her storyline. Girl, how can somebody else take your storyline? That That's all I want to know. You trying to justify somebody being successful in this reality TV game as stealing your shine. That To me, that just don't make no sense. Can you explain how she stole your storyline when she uh, pitched the show? Uh, was the first one on the show before you was even thought about? Hello. And if you felt that way, why you come back to this show? This season, season, whatever part, whatever, because we can't stay on, can't seem to get that together. Why you come back to the show and chose to argue about a man that you wasn't even with? Why? When you could have came and showed us whatever talents you have, because right now we don't know what kind of talents you have. Outside of always being everybody else's business and getting angry and standing up. Because you don't know how to use your word. You ain't showing us your business. But you up in everybody else's business. You up in Trisha Martell's business. You up in Mel's business. You up in Stormy's business. Like You up in Sonny and Moses' business. Which you think is part of your life, but it ain't. Girl, you are playing yourself. And lastly, let's talk about the Sonny and Moses of it all, okay? The sad part is you got up on that podcast and said y'all was broken up. You got up on that podcast and said that Sonny and Moses was trying to shop a show. Only for Carlos King to come out and say that y'all was in talks. You and him were in talks of you coming back to the show. And that you found out that Sonny married Moses. And that was your life. And I need to know how was that your life when you was not with the man anymore. The point I'm trying to make with this is. You know, the truth always come to the light. If you ain't telling the truth of your heart and you know it ain't true, it's going to come to light. Because everybody ain't in on your lies, i.e. Carlos King, telling us that you knew that Moses and Sonny was coming on. And you got on this TV screen and talking about why they're here. And you knew they were there because you wanted them there so you could get back on this show. So now you got what you wanted. And you made yourself look foolish. Arguing over a man that's married, number one. Number two, you wasn't even with the man. And this is what I'm saying about your lies being exposed, okay? You got on this TV screen talking about you were still with this man. 
And all of a sudden, a couple of weeks ago, it was, I wasn't with that man for a year. To you wanting Sonny to acknowledge that you broke up with the man. What? Where they do that at? Did Sonny get in that ass at the reunion? That's why you started telling truths? Like, Destiny, how long are you going to live in the Moses and Sonny thing? Like, you have a right to be hurt. You have a right to feel betrayed. But the people are married now. When will you let it go? Or stop making this your storyline? You said on several interviews that your life is a movie. When when we going to see it? You've been up here telling us as a 40 plus woman that you're healing. But get on TV and act a whole fool. Like you have been working with this therapist at least a year plus just from TV or from what you've been saying. And you still have no tools besides standing up like you ready to fight instead of using your words and, and letting people know how you feel and throwing out those one liners that seem rehearsed. You don't want to be called a liar. Yeah, in every interview on this TV show, your words are not consistent. And that's a sign of a liar. If you was telling the truth, your story would not change every time you tell it. Like, how do you get so passionate about someone else's marriage? It's just weird. Talk about yours. Talk about why you got divorced three weeks after you had your baby. Let's talk about that. I'm clear with some of the rumors that's going around about your, your marriage you had. Instead of being so immersed in everybody else's Show marriage. your real self on this show. That's what the people want. You can't be private on a reality show. Not you making a storyline out of everybody else's life. Okay. Okay, you said your life a movie. We waiting to see part one of it. When is it going to happen? I got a question. Do you look back at the episodes to, to see yourself and how you behave? Is that okay? Because what is given is, you said you're an actress, right? That's what is given. It's like you acting. You, you giving us moments and not your real life. That's what it's giving. And we the people can see right through it. Okay. We can see right through it. And lastly, Destiny, you said, uh, I don't even know if this was in your, what is it, green screens? You said, you tell one lie, I'm going to tell your truth. But you the one that keeps getting exposed lately. Girl, get it together. Destiny, at the end of the day, when are we going to see you? show some growth when are you going to fight your own battle you claim to be on this show since season one and we still don't know nothing about you, you. came on with a husband got divorced and came back fighting for a married man and constantly defending a married man that cheated and had a baby on his wife what make that make sense the pieces to your story just ain't adding up you said you will come back to this show on the dear wifey podcast if they tell your story because your story's incomplete and that's still where we standing. An incomplete story. Because you too busy worrying about everybody else's story. Fire line. your therapists. Fire your life coaches. You said you got two of each. They ain't doing you no justice. Start over.